Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back to the channel where you join me in London's Covent Garden, which this evening is the home to the grid for the 2018 Gumball 3000. The cars are lined up because tomorrow morning we're going to be getting underway on the rally from London to Tokyo. Now about 50 of the cars are here in Covent Garden. We'll take a walk around now. These are the cars that raised the most for the Gumball Foundation in the charity grid or some special cars that have been picked out, the likes of the McLaren P1 GTR, the Pagani Huayra and there are some crazy wraps and designs as well. So let's take a walk around and see what cars are right here. The sun is starting to set behind Covent Garden Market, but just about every type of car takes part in this rally. And this is an example of that kit from Knight Rider, which I believe is being driven again by David Hasselhoff, one of the Gumball regulars. He's going to be back along with a host of other celebrities. But we've even got prototypes, concepts, classic cars, modern supercars, off-roaders, you name it. Gumball has everything. And the next car we're actually going to walk past right here, quite surprisingly, is an Aston Martin DB6 Volante. I'm not sure if that's doing the full rally, but nonetheless, very very pretty to look at. So let's come through the crowds here. And believe me, it is very, very busy in Covent Garden. It's always busy, but line up 50 or so Gumball cars and it gets fairly ridiculous, I think, to be honest. So let's have a look at what we've got right here, starting with the KTM Crossbow. That's quite a brave car to do this rally with, even if you have a windscreen. And they've actually got a luggage rack. If we just come round past these two, we'll come back to those in a moment. Luggage box on the back right there. Then we've got the Pagani Huayra. Not sure if it's doing the drive, but lovely to see it right here. Yellow car looking stunning. Then this is a car that was actually only unveiled a few days ago. This is from Italy, the EC only one. It's taking part in this rally. A bit crazy. Car for the track. Even got small windows, as you can see. Then this wrap on the 720S has to be set. They have done a spectacular job. The way it goes from the Union Jack, British flag at the front, to the Japanese flag at the back. Very, very nice wrap on that car. We've also got this wrap from Josh Car2, Gumball regular, Team Wolfpack. He's taking part again. And the clever thing about this wrap is it's reflective. So under lights, it will actually completely light up where the different animals and shapes are around the car. So good job by Yanni Mize on that one. I wasn't immediately sure what the wrap design on this Lamborghini Aventador SV was, but I think with the eyes on the bonnet and then the scales that carry on over the top, that it's probably a dragon. After all, Japan theme, but this is about as brash and in your face as you get for a gumball car. A Lamborghini, after all, impractical, powerful, 750 horsepower V12. And in the set in red, it looks pretty good as well. So that's not yet stick it up. That's probably to come. But next up, we have Team Masters of Speed, who take part each year with various Mercedes-Benz or Mercedes-AMG models. And here we have three particularly different ones, starting off with the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. Now, I became very acquainted with the Gullwing earlier this year, driving one a thousand miles on the Millimilia, but I'm intrigued to see what it's going to be like for the guys driving this on the motorways as we make our way on the Gumball 3000. Good luck to them. So we move from a car from the 50s to the G500 4x4 squared, which is a bit of a serious off-roader, perhaps not the most fuel-efficient car to drive on the Gumball, but Solar Beam Yellow, gorgeous, gorgeous colour, and maybe they'll find something fun to do with it on the way. Then we get to the AMG GTR, or as they call it, the AMG GTRS, a car that pays tribute to the Rota Zao, the old 300 SEL, with its extra lights at the front, the red paintwork, and the stickers all over it, which I have to say is a really, really cool thing to do. So that's not a bad start to the lineup, but let's come through towards the other side, where we have a few cars that would be more at home on a racetrack, particularly this Formula One car, a Heritage F1 car in the John Player special livery. I can see Ollie Webb's name on the side, so he will presumably be driving that, and no doubt it is going to sound absolutely nuts when that crosses the start line, possibly in my next video, so stay tuned for that. We've also got next to that the BAC Mono, road legal, single seat, almost race car, proper experience to drive. Then the next car I wanted to come and show you has unfortunately been covered up, but under this cover is a McLaren P1 GTR, one of only 56 of the McLaren P1s for the racetrack. You can see the scale of that rear wing. It's even sitting on chocks. Obviously, this is a proper race car. Some of them have been converted for the road. I think about half of them in total, but not that we can see much when it's under a cover. So if we come over to the other side, I'm not actually sure what that is, but H2, does it run on hydrogen? Maybe. Anyway, after that, we've got Pog's lineup. Pog from Belgium, Pog Forever. He has just taken delivery of this and brought it straight here to the Gumball, the Performante Spider. Then we've got his 675 LT Spider with the glitch wrap, and then we've got his Pogtador, his Lamborghini Aventador. Now, it has to be said, this is a pretty full-on impressive effort when it comes to wraps and design liveries. A lot of credit to him for doing all of that. Then the next car, now that's something special, that's a Ferrari 280 
288 GTO right there. I honestly did not think I would ever see a Ferrari 288 GTO on the Gumball 3000, let alone one that's come all the way over from Victoria, Australia via Dutton Garage. I went out to visit Dutton's when I was over there in Australia, but that is probably one of the most expensive cars on the grid. However, if we continue through, we've got a Lexus LFA. I think there are two of those in total. This one with the split wrap design is very, very nice as well with the different flags from London, England to Japan. I like how they've done that. This is one of the best sounding cars in the world. And then to complete this little bit of lineup, we have a Rolls Royce Dawn from Andorra. So let's make our way to this side. On this side, we have the perfect example of diversity of different cars taking part. You've got two chromed supercars flanking either side of a Ford pickup truck sandwiched in the middle. On the left is the McLaren 720S from Team Hell, named because the number plate of this car is HE11. It's wrapped in a very bright pink chrome fuchsia color. And I actually have to say, that looks pretty good. Then next to that, we've got the Ford pickup truck, which is, I guess, completely out of place when you look at the supercars. It is a ginormous, again, appropriate for the off-road. Let's see what they do with it during the rally. Then we get to Team Salomon. Now, these guys are pretty famous. They've done a number of different rallies through the years in their wild and crazy creations. And I think, well, this is just the absolute icing on the cake, isn't it? The Aventador SV with full chrome, Tron stripes, illuminated lights underneath, chromed wheels as well with purple chrome accents to match the Tron stripes. It is about as bold and in your face as you could ever get with any kind of car. So Team Salomon will no doubt be up to some antics during this rally. Then we get our bitter sticker rivals during the rally. Team 91, Team Aztec driving in the F-Type SVR. Now in previous years, we've had a bit of banter with these guys during the rally. So who knows what's gonna happen this time around. Then we have Team Alpha, the Julia Quadrifoglio and the Stelvio Quadrifoglio that have come over from Gargash in Dubai. Now I joined those guys at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix last year on their yacht, which was awesome hospitality from them and they're driving with their two satin purple cars they feature different cars each year but from mercedes and from alfa romeo normally cars that are different all wrapped in satin purple so good to see them then we get towards the end to a turbo s cabriolet showing the rising sun on the front with the skull in the middle um, but i think this is quite a theme for this year obviously lots of the wraps based around where we're going to japan to tokyo on this side we have the three new york police cars armed with police lights numbered up nypd but i think they've forgotten that we're starting in london which is Europe and ending in Japan which is Asia and we're not going to North America let alone New York either way three police cars quite a fun thing to have on the grid here in London I wonder what they're gonna get up to as we make our way through and I also like that they have put up police line do not cross keep the car safe after all ready for the rally so we are literally in London's Covent Garden right here um, a pretty hot spot for the tourists as you can imagine but let's come down here to explore some more to start us off on this side we have the team that will be crossing the start line first this is the team 28 rolls royce wraith and the reason they're going first is because they raised the most money of any team for the gumball foundation through the charity grid they actually raised 105,555 pounds and 55 pence for the gumball charities which is a spectacular effort and fully deserving of going first out of the total actually that was raised of over four hundred thousand pounds but they're also driving with the wraith number 28 and the dawn which is number 29 so if we just squeeze round here the new dawn as well matching uh, livery on the side of that then we have a very nice car that i've seen on gumball before the lamborghini murcielago sv they only made about 185 of those in total this one in satin black comes over from ireland it's nice to see it back on the rally again very very menacing of course aventador svs have gone absolutely everywhere and changed the game a bit for Lamborghini but they struggled to sell these in the beginning they tried to build 350 and only sold about 185 so a very rare thing to see then we've got a number of Range Rovers and things that are taking part also but I particularly like this I'm just gonna squeeze around the back of this photo almost matching shirts Ferrari 812 super fast in that green now this I think they called it Kurs green maybe something like that when they showed an F12 was it a 599 even in that color way back in any case it looks incredible I've popped round to the back because it just got very busy at the front I'm not quite sure who just arrived but this car is actually painted this is the real paint color for this 812 super fast big respect to the owner Lily from Canada British Columbia shipped it over to drive in this event that's one of the other things you just have cars wearing all sorts of different number plates that are taking part but this is a brilliant color choice i think it's from uh, was it the 599 that ferrari launched it or showed a car in this color but either way wherever it comes from that is an awesome color choice on an incredible car one of the 
best out there. I absolutely love it. And one of the best gumball cars, I think the 812 Superfast and also the AMG GTR, which is why you see quite so many of both of them. The next to that, we have a Rolls-Royce Dawn. I think this is one of the inspired uh, by fashion cars. So it has the blue roof. It was originally probably a white paint that's been wrapped pink. I mean, pretty much all of the cars are wrapped. And given it says Lady Penelope and has an extra axle in the wrap there, this is clearly a Thunderbirds inspiration. But let's continue down where the next car is a DMC DeLorean. Like I told you, complete diversity and mix of cars that actually take part in this. Uh, somebody going back to the future, not quite a full back to the future car, but not sure what's going on uh, back there around. A random thing to be on the grid. Then the RS6, lots of RS6s to be honest, that take part in the Gumball 3000. I drove two years ago in the Aptitude RS6, which this is also an Aptitude RS6 I can spot at the back. A very appropriate car for the course with lots of luggage space. We went to the team of four people, probably more sensible than the Mercedes anyway. 911 Turbo S, full printed wrap all over that showing the C. Uh, good effort and a spare wheel and tire on the roof for when they uh, have some fun later on. Team 36. Now this DB11 is moderately crazy. Team 55. It's, is it like a candy sweet or something? It's colorful, that's for sure. The swirls coming out from the center. That's like the rising sun idea, but expanded over the whole of the car with all the different colors. You see, people just go a bit crazy. Then you get to the van from 360 Wraps who are the guys who've been doing all of the stickers for the Gumball cars and to be honest that's quite a cool wrap on their van as well their installation van so what a lineup even just there and we're not quite done for the 50 or so cars that are here at the front of the grid in Covent Garden we have a Ferrari 458 Italia that's slightly trod but it almost looks is it hand drawn or taped yeah is it a white car that's been taped either way unusual definitely very very unusual it has to be said I'm not quite sure what they've done there for that wrap or if they've done this anyway a bit crazy then we've got a bentega and at the end of this line we have a gtc for lusso and you can see how busy it is because even here i'm struggling to get through the crowd to see the lusso that is on the end of the line with the gold bonnet and the gold wheels and running different wheels as well so that is it for the cars that make up the lineup here in covent garden that's only about 50 of them there are around another 100 cars that are taking part that we're going to be seeing depart tomorrow morning before we get on the roads ourselves when i say tomorrow morning from when this video goes live it will be happening just a few hours later and i will be doing my best as always to get all the videos and the vlogs as we make our way on this six or seven day adventure to japan up on the youtube channel as soon as i possibly can anyway that's it what we've got here the likes of the p1 gtr the new ec only one the Huayra, team masters of speed the gtrs you name it what an epic lineup here in covent garden ready and set for the start of the 2018 gumball 3000 so thank you very much for watching guys i appreciate your support that is it for this time though i will see you again very soon cheers